Hey pals, Cameron here, Gravity Goods, and in this video I'm sharing with you all of the treasures, the goodies, the resellable flippable items I picked up this weekend at Packwood Flea Market in Washington State. Went camping with, with my wife Heather, friends Sal and Matt, and while I actually didn't buy that much stuff, I'm still okay with what I got. I intentionally didn't want to buy a lot of stuff because... As many of you know, I just do this part-time. I already have a ton of postcards from my buy back in January. Oh, get winded. My buy back in January that I'm still trying to get through and get listed. So, um, but anyway, let me show you what I did find. But first, Bo Mr. Bo Jingles came in here. You want to say hi? Come here, Bo. Come here, buddy. Say hi to the friends. Say, I missed my dad so much. Say, I bugged him all night last night, sleeping on his chest, meowing in his ear at 5.30. And this morning, while my papa was listing postcards, I was also laying at his feet. You missed your mom and dad, didn't you, buddy? Okay, give a thumbs up if you like Mr. Bojingles. Tell him. Give a thumbs up and subscribe for more adorable cat footage. He's, he's purring, y'all. All right, buddy. I can't cuddle you all day. I got stuff to show to my friends. Oh, gosh. And now I got to remember what these things cost. All right. First up is this Craftsman drive handle. Uh, it says $10, but I didn't pay $10. I negotiated down to 7 and if my memory serves me correctly, I think I could get somewhere around 30 bucks for this. Anyway, I'll be taking a picture of this today and getting it listed. Oh, also before I go any further, this video is going to come out before the video of us at Packwood. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed if you want to see a lot of GoPro footage of me finding these things and of the people I mentioned finding the things that they're finding. So it's kind of backwards, right? I'm showing you all the things I found and then I'll release a video of me finding the things, but whatever. Uh, this is a party pitcher. At first I thought, dude, for two bucks, like maybe we'll even use this. But we don't really make mimosas, mojitos. Well, that's not true. Heather likes mojitos. Um, but anyway, it's new in the box. The box has a little bit of damage. And for two bucks, I don't know. I'll throw a soul comp here. I don't know what it's worth. This is a, I don't know if I want to keep it or sell it, but it's a great condition, Tim Puck, Tim Puck, Tim Buck 2 satchel, like a messenger bag. This would be fantastic for me to have for work, so I might keep it, but uh, you know, I paid 10 bucks, I think I could probably get... I don't know, $40, $50, so I might sell it. I'll probably sell it. And I got this little tumbler. Uh, this is a half-decent brand, not as good of a brand as Yeti. It's a wine tumbler. I got it for personal use to have in the trailer. Speaking of trailers, I didn't actually find this uh, part at the Packwood Estate. Uh, Packwood Estate, Packwood Flea Market. But I had to buy it, well, I thought I had to buy it to do some work on my trailer for the hitch. And they don't take it back. So I didn't even use it. Brand new. I paid $42.95. Hopefully I could sell it for at least 30 and get some of my money back. Anyway. I paid $10 for this. It is chock full of oh gosh what's happening uh various vintage pens start taking pictures of some of these pens so in addition to this i got a bag full of 60 plus loose pins i got this camera i may have overpaid for it i think i paid 10 bucks and why i say i may have overpaid for it is because because it's dead, the battery's dead, and I don't know if it's gonna work. 
Uh, but if it does work, it could be a good one. I could just sell it for parts as well. It is a Sony Handycam and uh, Carl Zeiss lens. I like selling camera stuff. It usually goes pretty quickly. I'm gonna have to uh, either buy a battery or the charging mechanism. Um, yeah, because I don't have that. I could probably get the cord for fairly inexpensive and would want to anyway to sell it with the cord. So something I'm gonna have to order today is uh, the charging cord. I have to do some research on this. No, this is like a dollar. I don't know what these sell for. It's uh, it's not even that old. It's from 2017. Duncan Yo-Yo. I don't know why I grabbed that, to be honest. I think I just bundled it. Excuse me. Bundled it in with the other things I had grabbed. Um, all these belt buckles I paid $5 each for. We've got uh, an electric company in Anchorage, Alaska from 1978. This Anchorage uh, sand and gravel. Hopefully they can all fetch me uh, 15 to 20 bucks plus. 1987 Marlboro. It's a cool one. And then I have this Jim Beam one that's still in the box from 1993. And I thought I had some other belt buckles. I don't know where they're at. I have some more pins too. Be right back. I'm gonna go find those. Okay, well I didn't find the additional belt buckles. I also got a little knife that I'm not sure where I put it. Let's see if I shoved it in this bag. I think this thing's like brand new. This bag has like an extra strap in here. So that's kind of cool. I bought this pickle jar that has a bunch of different buttons and there's some patches and pins in here as well. And then uh, two, so I I, what did I say? I paid 15, 16 bucks for that jar full of buttons and pins. Uh, Mini Mouse vintage pen from 19... I can't read that. You know what? The year's not on it. But I know it's vintage. Mini and Donald. Uh, five bucks for the two. And this was a good deal. Five dollars for each of these pieces of um, felt that have pens on them. So spent twenty dollars for all these pens I'm about to show you. Including the vintage Mini and Donald. There's all these different pins. US West used to be a phone company. Que then it was Quest, or maybe it was Quest and then US West. I don't know, these aren't super valuable pins, I don't believe, but. Um, this guy just wanted to offload all the stuff. Helps that there's a bunch of duplicates because, um, you know, easier for listing, put multi-quantity. This one has some uh, professional baseball and football teams on it. It's like the Red Sox, Eagles, Orioles, etc. Let me know in the comments, what, what's your team? What's your sport? What's your team? I gotta know. I need to know. Okay, this one has... A variety everything from 1991 department of pharmacy vintage pharmacy pharmaceutical pin Beijing 20 2008 Patriots pin I don't know what magic is magic must be like a semi pro or local to the place in Washington we were anyway again five bucks for all these and these two look like they fell off. They're exactly the same. I don't know. It's just a cat and ship wheel. This doesn't even have... Oh, yeah, it does have a pen thing right there. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to be taking pictures of a bunch of these pins today. In addition to the other items I bought. 
I'll have to hold off on the camera because I need to get a battery or a cord for it. I'll be working in the next week or so on the video of us at the flea market. So I hope you will uh, make sure that you have notifications on so you don't miss that video when it comes out. Thank you so much for watching. Did I get way less than you thought I would? What do you think? What do you think? Do you think anything? Before I say goodbye, I just found all those pins and the three, but I thought there was four. So there still could be a missing belt buckle, but let me show you the three that I did find and the pins I got that I'm gonna be starting to photograph and get listed hopefully today. All right, so here's the three pins. They need some cleaning up. Um, I learned from Matt you could use a barkeeper's friend and or I've got this stuff called the pink stuff and that will help get that green right there off of here and clean this up nicely. Um, so I got these three belt buckles, $5 each and then 60 pins that I paid 40 bucks for. And as you can see, I intentionally grabbed a bunch of them that were still like new old stock. And these are like Tomorrowland, Disneyland, Fantasyland, uh, some other Disney pen, New Orleans Square, all these miscellaneous ones. Maybe we need to give the uh, Red Hat Society official queen pen to Dawn in Canada. <laughs> and a Harley pen here. And then uh, more multi-quantity sales. Main Street USA, Disneyland, Frontierland, uh, Goofy's on this one, Adventureland, and Bear Country. So I haven't looked at any comps on these. But even if they were just a few bucks each, uh, they're small. So they're easy to list, easy to photograph, easy to store, easy to ship. Oh, there's another Frontierland. And I love the multi-quantity ones. So anyway... Now that is mostly what I had picked up. So as you can see, heavy on the pin action, as Sal would say. <laughs> All right. Don't forget, no matter what, have fun. We had a lot of fun this last weekend. Make money. I mean, it's nickel and dime stuff, but I'll make some money. Uh, but more importantly, most importantly, most importantly, stay grounded. All right, see you in the next video. Peace out.